Okay, so the sun oven has preheated. I'm gonna, this is, um, I've cooked several meals in this. I've owned this almost five years coming this fall. Um, but today's gonna be kind of an, a, a little bit of an experiment. But, so I wanna show you, 30 minutes ago I was setting this up. I had started the video. And it is already at 300 degrees. So it is preheated, okay? I am gonna cook hard boiled eggs, which I've done before, but I've only done them by themselves, not with something else. And then, then I'm gonna be cooking lamb, ground lamb uh, meatballs, um, which I've not done meatballs in the sun oven before. But normally, the sun oven, so I'm gonna turn these knobs, open up, when you open it up, you do lose a little bit of heat. But anyway, so normally I just put food on the rack here. So I'm gonna put this right here, like so. Okay, and I turn this lid upside down so that I would have room for the eggs because I didn't think I'd have, ouch, that's hot. <laughs> I didn't have room for the eggs here. So I'm gonna put them on top here. I've never, this is my experiment. I've always, I have cooked eggs by themselves. I've cooked meals in the double stacked because I have meatballs here and meatballs in here because I didn't have room. I had more meatballs than I did just for one container. So I've done the double stack, which this pan set comes with the sun oven but I've never cooked um, like eggs with something else like this because I didn't have room. So we're gonna give that a try. So I'm gonna leave those in there probably for an hour or so. I will have to come back out here and realign the sun oven. So you can see by me opening it, it went down to like 275 but it'll quickly reheat. So before I leave, I am gonna check the sundial. You can see it's directly in the middle. So when you have the sundial lined up like that, the, the lighted circle over that open circle, that's when the oven will cook at its optimal or hottest. Okay. So I could, so I don't have to come out here as soon, I could turn it and have the open circle on the edge of that lighted circle. So it's still in there. So it's gonna still cook optimally at its highest degree. But then I don't have to come out here as soon and I can let it go for like, say 30, 45 minutes. And by the time I come back out here, then that open circle will be on this edge of the lighted circle. So we'll see um, how this is in about an hour or so. You just let it do its thing and you just walk away.